Hagai one ten. Al Cain Alechem, Kalau Shamayam Mital, Vehaaretz Kala Yevula. Hagai one ten translates fully like this. Therefore, above you the heavens have restrained from dew, and the earth or land has restrained its produce. Haggai one ten opens with the discourse marker, therefore, indicating the inference of verses 7 through 9. The prepositional phrase is moved forward here, and all is above rather than on, uh, but on or upon, I think, gets the idea across too regarding the heavens. The BHS apparatus here has a note that the Septuagint omits this prepositional phrase as ditography, meaning a, a repetition of therefore, with a mem rather than a noon. Uh, I prefer to leave the prepositional phrase, but you can also see how ditography might be an option there. The verb in the main clause is the call perfect 3CP of the root kala, meaning to restrain. The heavens is the subject, and the thing restrained or the accusative complement is marked by the men preposition here on tall, dew. The heavens have restrained the dew would be the whole thing. This is the first of the consequences or results of Israel paying more attention to their own houses than to rebuilding the temple. In the second line here, the final clause fronts the subject, the land. The verb is the same, but matches the land and gender and number. It is a call perfect 3FS, again of the root kala. This time, the thing restrained is its produce or her produce. The whole verse today, then again, is therefore the heavens over you have withheld the dew and the land has withheld its produce.